Hi, uh, welcome to Anchor the Light, and I am Tina B. Steele. I wanted to do an intro video to briefly explain what is Anchor the Light and why am I doing it. I was guided by Archangel Gabriel to make these patterns. And how it first began was um, through a fellow light worker. I was given a message from Archangel Gabriel to go to the beach and create a flower of life pattern in the sand. Uh, I live two hours from the beach, but so I'm not really close. So it was a little road trip which I will throw in here. A few weeks earlier, I had gotten another message channeled through a different fellow light worker that I was going to be taking a surprise trip. And I thought, well, I don't go anywhere. You know, basically, I'm a homebody. I just like to stay at home. Um, so I was a little like, okay, what's that about? So this is how I, uh, that surprise trip came about. Two days after I received the, the guidance from Archangel Gabriel to go to the beach and create the pattern in the sand, I did. It was very spontaneous. I had the message on a Friday. I got the message on the Friday and I was busy on Saturday. Sunday morning, I was sitting there doing my usual thing, relaxing, and I just thought, I need to do it today. If I don't do it today, I won't get another chance until maybe Friday. And I had something going on Friday evening and I didn't want to do both in the same day. So I just, I just, you know, said, my daughter got up. She's like, what's going on? I said, I'm taking a road trip. Do you want to go? She said, no. <laughs> so I said, okay, I'm going to the beach. And I did, you know, I took some short video, really short video, less than a minute, and a few pictures, and um, had to figure out what tool I was going to use. In the guidance, I was given to use things like shells and pine cones and leaves and things like that. But I didn't take the time to figure out how to collect all that, because you can't necessarily find perfect shells and whatnot to make the pattern. So I said, I'm going to make the pattern just in the sand with an object. What I came up with was to use my paper towel holder because it had, a, you know, the, the base is round and it had the, the tube, that the piece that, the column that holds the paper towel and it had a nice lip on the bottom, around the bottom edge. It was just perfect. And I had made flowers of life before. If you look behind me, I've got one on the wall there. Uh, some wall art that I actually made. I made a, a second one wall art that's in my hallway behind me here. And I've drawn several on paper. So I had an idea of, you know, where to put the circles and all that. Um, and when I got to the beach, I went to Nags Head, North Carolina. Um, beautiful Outer Banks. This island is just magical. And what was also interesting was that I was never a beach person. Um, I, I was, I like to go to the mountains and stay at, you know, in the forest and hang out with the trees. And the only time I would go to the beach basically um, in the last years was to take my daughter to make sure she had that beach experience. And it, it was funny because it turned out she didn't really like the beach either. The sand was scratchy. It was too windy and loud. <laughs> and that's what I'd often thought that, ocean is not really, the beach is not as relaxing as the mountains and the trees because of all the, the waves crashing, you know, I like the stillness, like silence, and that was peaceful to me. So anyway, um, there's just so many little pieces, right, that guide me to the story, uh, and I get very distracted with all the little pieces. So anyway, here I was. <laughs> at this beach that I had uh, come first with my sister on, you know, our two families 
got together and went to this beach in Nagsy at an island in the Outer Banks. And I thought, wow, this place is gorgeous. There was something magical about it then and it is now <clears throat> to me. Um, <clears throat> and so when Archangel Gabriel guided me to go to the beach to make the pattern in the sand, I knew right away I was going to go to uh, Nags Hit versus another beach that's less than two hours, a little bit less. It's like an hour and 45 minutes called Atlantic Beach. I had been there many times. That's where I grew up going. But the Nags Head Island of Nags Head is just so much more magical than Atlantic Beach for me anyway. So I go to the beach and I've got my paper towel holder and I make the circles in the sand. The, uh, you know, I wanted to be in the, the wet, moist part of the sand to hold the pattern. You could see it more precisely. But, and the tide was far enough out that not every wave would hit that spot farthest out, you know, in that moist part. But every now and again, like every, seventh or eighth wave would be uh, come in far enough where it would wash away a little bit of the pattern I was starting to make. So I had to work really quickly and I couldn't do it as precisely as I would have on paper or the one that I made for my wall art. And so it wasn't proportionate. It wasn't exactly right. Um, but I got it there and I went ahead and took the picture and then within minutes the waves had washed that pattern away. But uh, later on, I did ask Archangel Gabriel and uh, if it was successful, and he said, yes, very much so. And at that time, that was the second time message I had gotten from this fellow light worker when I asked, you know, was it successful? And Archangel Gabriel came through, said, yes, it was a successful, and that I will be doing more patterns. I will be getting more guidance to do more patterns. Not necessarily at the beach, not necessarily involving road trips. And, um, and it would be, you know, it would be circles in some pattern. And sometimes it would even be just me not pre-planning to go and do it, just being out and getting the urge and the thoughts and the ideas to do it. Um, so that kind of explains why I'm here. And what's also interesting is that I was ignoring the nudges before I ever got that clear message through my fellow light worker from Archangel Gabriel to, I was getting nudges to do that. I'd be walking in the park on the nature trail. And for example, just that that day, that Friday that I got the first message from Archangel Gabriel, just a couple hours before that, I had been walking on the nature trail at the park and these ginormous maple leaves, it's, it was fall when I'm making this video and when this first started, um, were, the ground was covered. I came upon <clears throat> this one spot where these ginormous maple leaves had fallen on the ground and they were the most beautiful yellow and when I saw it, I said, oh, solar plexus yellow, yes. And I was drawn to it, I actually picked up one of the leaves. And I was like, I could make something with this, right? And, but, you know, of course, I was like, um, I don't have time to do that. I've got to run some errands and pick up my daughter at a certain time for class. And um, so that was just that very morning. And I had had other nudges in the past for different things related to this um, and just ignored it. But that day in that first guidance from Archangel Gabriel, he said, he was talking about uh, the light worker was channeling and she said, I feel like um, it's going to be something like you're walking along and you see a beautiful yellow leaf and you feel like this would make a beautiful part of a pattern. And so I was right away, I was like, Wow, it, you know, spirit never ceases to amaze me. They give you exactly, I mean, these are all, you know, validations, confirmations of what I had been feeling and experiencing and what I needed to do. 
So um, that's how it all started with those two messages from Archangel Gabriel. And I wanted to say also, I got a third message from Archangel Gabriel. And this message came about through a different light worker who was um, spontaneously came live to do some readings. And I popped in there and I said, can I get a message from Archangel Gabriel? And that's all I said. I didn't say anything about what I've been doing um, and why. And she said, sure. And then she proceeded to say, well, first, the sun has a message for you. The sun is coming in and has a message for you. And I thought, that's interesting. And she went on to say that, um, and she described the sun was giving her images of me creating a design. And she said, and this is actually in your backyard. She didn't call it a pattern, she called it a design. And she said, circle inside a circle. And I want to backtrack really quickly because this was a couple hours after I had done my third pattern. My third pattern I had actually done in my backyard beside the pond. That's part of my backyard view. I had done concentric circles, just leaves, it, it's the fall. And so I had taken the rake, gotten the urge that morning, just very spontaneous. I walked out to take my dog out. And I thought, you know what? I can grab my rake and easily make some circle patterns with these leaves. I ended up making some circle patterns and I'll post it in between this link or up in this video as I'm talking about it. And this was just a couple hours before this light worker went live not spontaneously to do readings. And so the sun was coming in, showing her the image of my concentric circles in my backyard beside the pond. Um, and so I was blown away about that part too. And, um, but the sun was saying that this is an acknowledgement. I'm gonna read it because I wrote it down. This is an acknowledgement of what you are doing. It feels very sacred a sacred space where you will receive and then give back. And the sun was describing like the, the light is coming down from the sun and there's a rebound effect where it just, you know, hits that pattern, that design, and it just comes back up. So uh, I wanted to share that. And then Archangel Gabriel came in and gave me another message, another confirmation to keep going. I'm doing it perfectly. Don't worry about my capabilities to be able to do this. Don't worry about what, what other people will think about it or that it's nothing special because those who need it and will receive from it will receive. I mean, I didn't have to worry about any of that. So I was a, a load off my back. And, you know, to continue. So, so far I have posted three videos, three patterns, and they were very short. And I'm getting a little bit better, I'm, you, you know, at the filming, um, you know, getting my head around it a little bit. Well, not my head so much, but my heart and just getting into it. And I wanted to share that information about it. I have already filmed my fourth pattern and I'm in the process of editing that video and getting it ready and it's going to go out next week, which is the week uh, of Christmas. It'll be before Christmas, December 2021. And um, so I'm excited about that. Thank you, everybody who has subscribed to my channel. You know, I'm not, I don't have a plan for this. Um, I'm just going to enjoy this and what's happening right now. And I'm excited to be able to share it with you. I'm getting emotional because I feel like this is what I need to do. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Um, I'm just enjoying the moment and enjoying that I can do this. And what I did want to say is to describe what is Anchor the Light. Anchor 
light onto earth so that it can help more people access the frequencies of love and light. That is the purpose of these patterns. Anchor the light. Let me say it one more time. Anchor the light onto earth so that more people can access the frequencies of love and light. And so right now, this is my little part. And waking up, helping other people wake up. I'm so <laughs> filled with joy. I feel so much love right now. I think that's why I'm emotional. Thank you again, and uh, much love to everyone.